What up, dog? I am Jay the Gentleman. That's at J-A-I, the gentleman on IG and Facebook. It's Wednesday. So this is a new episode of Dear Black Gay Men Podcast. It's our short, bullshit-free step out of our comfort zone to talk about all the emotional ups and downs along the journey to happiness. Hopefully, this is our midweek reminder of how dope it is to be black gay men who love black gay men. I am Jay the Gentleman. This is Dear Black Gay Men Podcast. Now, let's get into the episode. I know you're single. Because I'm single. We're all single here. A lot of us are single. I don't want to exclude anybody. But we're coming down to the end of the year. It's getting colder and matching pajama season is creeping up. The bed may feel a little emptier and the pressure to be with someone gets thicker. How come I'm still single? The dating outlook may be a little bleak. I know because I'm in it with you. But you're actually in the perfect place to take a giant leap forward in your dating journey toward happiness. Sidebar, I have nothing against the matching pajamas. In fact, yourblackgaymen.com is a perfect place to buy matching clothes for you and whomever you want to match with. And you'll be able to support your favorite podcaster's favorite podcast. More on that later. I did a quick YouTube search about being single for the holidays. It ended up being a whole lot of cis, hetero white women telling other white women why Mr. Right is just around the corner. And, but instead of regurgitating words from Karen to the flyest black gay man listening to this podcast, I'm going to explain why single for the holidays is actually a good thing. We're calling it simply the single series. It's three parts of breaking down the season of dating that most of us are in. Why single is more than just the gap between relationships, even during the holidays, why your next relationship is counting on the self-work you're doing right now, and how can we single in a way that leads to a fulfilling relationship. We've never done a series here on Dear Black Amen. These are lessons that came from my many, many dating mistakes I've made along my journey to happiness. If you want the backstory of the dating mistakes I made to learn these lessons, you can join the newsletter on Substack. It's a once weekly deep dive into my thoughts about dating and sex. It's not spam. We ain't going to spam you. It's just a direct connect from me to your inbox once a week. The link is in the description. Now, this whole process, the single series and everything that came that is going to come out of it, everything that goes into it started when I had a conversation with Brando on Dear Black Gay Men Live. The reason I even broke up with him, when I started gaining my own sense of independence, because I kind of felt myself being lost in my relationship. Because I felt like I was somebody's boyfriend. I mm -hmm. wasn't Brandy anymore. What did infidelity do for your sense of independence? Brando lost himself in his relationship. And that's why he says he cheated. That resonated with me because I've been there. I've lost myself in a relationship. I have cheated. Now, it was different relationships where those two things happen. But it was the same problems, the same roots that he was talking about. Hold on. Now, I know that we single, but what better way to celebrate the season we're in than getting some Dear Black Gay Men merch? We went back and forth on the team about what to design. Should we do catchy slogans on graphic tees or what kind of merch would really resonate with the audience? But what we really wanted to do was create a way that we, each of us, can be the message. When you wear this hat, you're saying this, me, not just the hat, but me wearing the hat is dope. When you wear this t-shirt, you're saying the whole package is dope. This sweatshirt is dope. And this is dope. You, dear black gay men, are dope. And this merch is our opportunity to show that dopeness to the world. You can shop merch at dearblackgaymen.com. You can use code single series for 15% off your first order. Now let's get back into the show. Single should be the time in your life when you find yourself when you're 30 plus, you know you found yourself when sitting on the sofa is equally as enticing a Saturday night exchange than uh, going out to some club. When your friend circle is drama free, that's when you know you found yourself. When you have hobbies that make you smile. Your job during this single season is to live a life that is so dope that you're excited to share it with someone. Single. The less the, the time in your life that you are in right now is where you find yourself. I lost myself in the relationship I had with Joe. I've lost myself in the relationship I've had with several people physically and emotionally. I would pick up my whole life. 
and move in with into their apartment or their house because I hate it where I live. I would pick up my whole life and become whatever version of a boyfriend they wanted me to be because I didn't know who I was. And now, best friend, the whole purpose of this single season that you are in, that I am in, that we are in, is to get so connected to who we are deep down inside. Not who we are for the gram, not who we are on the podcast, not who we are at work or who we are around our family, who we are authentically without any any filters. And allow that person to be so dope that you want to, you excited to, you desire to share that version of you with someone else intimately so. But I think the bigger lesson is about how, how we need to rethink what dopeness is. A lot of us equate dopeness to likes and follows. I even pay, play into that because I do all these get ready with me's where I'm half naked on the gram trying to get people to follow so they can get a piece of this dear black gay man love. But the true marker of dopeness is not likes, it's not follows, not shares, it's not tweets. The true marker of dopeness is purpose and intention. Dopeness is when your life, who you are and what you know yourself to be, rises up to serve your personality. Eckhart Tolle, he calls that authentic power. When the life that you lead serves your deeper purpose. I, however, Call it dopeness. What are you doing right now? Does this season in your life have purpose or are you just drifting through it? Like I was when I had no job. What goals are you putting intention toward and how are you gauging your progress? Is that purpose and that intention making you more likable for the double taps on IG or is it making you more dope for who you are and serving who you are meant to be? So dear black gay men, are you dope enough to be single? If you like this content, subscribe and click the notification bell for single series part two and part three. Click the screen for our dating tips and techniques playlist and advice on how to start dating in 2024 with my conversation with the gay dating coach. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.